One thing that stops a lot of data analysts or data science from starting the next data project for their portfolio is finding a great data source. Often hours are spent trying to find inspiration or data to get the ball rolling. I've compiled over 30 different places where you can find a data source for your next data project. Let's take a look at it. All right, so the first one, we're going to data.nasa.gov slash browse, and you'll get taken to this page right now. And as with every other page that I will be showing in this video, things change over time. So if it's not exactly the same, that's because the webmaster has updated the website. But you can see right at the top, machine learning is suitable NASA data sets. If you're a NASA individual adding more data, data.nasa.gov, that is a machine learning application. Please use the topic over here, feature content, categories so aerospace applied science apps earth science and also management slash operations now if you want to find specifically earth data by nasa check this out over here we go to search.earthdata.nasa.gov we have all this earth data that we can start specifically exploring you can go over here look at specific keywords right platforms processing date format data format and there's 9,329 matching data collections. Data.gov is another very popular site, the home of the US government open data. Here we will find data tools, resources to conduct research, develop web and mobile applications, design data visualizations. There is over 280,000 data sets currently available here at the end of 2023. One of the more popular ways to source data today is to go through datasetsearch.research.google.com. You get brought to this Google search engine where you can specifically look for any type of data set. We can type in over here, baseball. And you can see average age of baseball players, major league baseball player, rookie salaries from 2003 to 2023, franchise value of baseball teams in 2023. You click on this, and here we have this data over here. Last is data set updated, data set author and provided by time period, area covered description, and much more. Probably the place that you see the most on YouTube videos is gonna be Kaggle. Not only is it a place that you can compete in machine learning competitions, there is a ton of data sets. You just go over here to the left and you can start researching whatever data set. The more popular data sets will have more upvotes and you can see that across the board. But here at the top, we have trending data sets, we have sports, health, software, food, travel, and much more. We go over here to travel and you can just scroll pages and pages of data. So you can see nine all the way over. Another machine learning repository, UC Irvine over here. We have popular data sets as well as new ones. You can even contribute data sets if you specifically want to. So let's get, oh, we go over here, go to heart disease. We see four databases, Cleveland, Hungary, Switzerland, and the VA Long Beach number of instances and features with a breakdown of that, as well as the creators, any papers associated with that. What's kind of nice too, is they have a section over here for missing values and the units uh, that these different variables and features are specifically in, as well as a description, uh, which makes it really easy to digest the data. If you are a baseball fan like myself, you can use a website over here called Baseball Savant. And one of the data analytics projects here I did on the channel, I broke down different pictures by Tampa Bay Rays pictures. Well, this is the website that I use to just go to baseballsavant.mlb.com slash statcast search. And you're gonna find a ton of data and options to choose from. Another sports site I highly recommend is Baseball Reference. But the best part about Baseball Reference is there's a family of websites. So we have Baseball Reference over here. You can go to Football Reference and there's football data. If you like basketball, you have Basketball Reference, Hockey, you have hockey reference, football or soccer, you have that as well, FB reference. And you can just go over here, you can search by players, you can search by teams, uh, by year, and, and a lot of data over here that would be great for a data visualization project. Now from studying other past data science and analytics projects here on YouTube, I find that there's a lot of data sources that are gonna be posted specifically on GitHub. I'm just gonna share the two that I've seen post quite a bit. You have Buzzfeed News over here, where you can just go over here and click on a specific data set that they have uploaded, right? And there's a lot of different repositories over here. And another really popular one is gonna be open numbers. Again, you can just see all their different repositories by clicking view all repositories. And you can see that they have 115 over here that you could take a look through. Some of your Python libraries also have data sets which make it very easy to load. You can take a look at Seaborn. Their website talks about some of the different data sets, scikit-learn, Hugging face as well as PyTorch. So make sure to read the documentation, learn how to 
quickly add that in your code and you can do that through like a Google Colab or even like a Jupyter Notebook. So I haven't really used AWS yet, although that is gonna be changing into 2024, but if you do have an account, there is a lot of public data sets that you can use. So just go to aws.amazon.com slash open data. datahub.io slash search. Search for data sets. There are thousands of data sets from financial market data and population growth to cryptocurrency prices for any of those crypto bros out there. If you don't know what you're looking for, ask the data concierge for a free quote for us to find you the data. Pew Research Center. So you can download some of the different data sets that they have specifically over here. Some of the categories you can find are U.S. politics and policy, journalism and media, internet and tech, science and society, religion and public life, Hispanic trends, global attitudes and trends, social and demographic trends, America trends panel and methodology. 538 may be known for sports and politics, but it is a great resource to grab some data so you can specifically see data set related content and the last time it's been updated and it's a breeze to the World Bank also has a ton of data available. Go to data.worldbank.org and you can scroll down to this open data catalog over here and you can see 6,812 data sets available. Data.cern.ch, explore more than four petabytes of open data from particle physics. You can just go over here and search for example, collision data sets and you can see that there are 390 results. Want to look at climate data? Well, go to the NOAA website URL, ncei.noaa.gov slash cdo dash web. A fan of movies? Well, the British Film Institute has the data for you. Go to bfi.org.uk slash industry data insights. And you can see things like weekend box office statistical yearbook, official statistics release calendar reports, and more. Another great source that's going to be community driven is going to be reddit.com slash r slash data sets. So this Reddit community is great for searching data and also finding things that people want to post. Like for example, you see this question over here, any reputable data sets for UFC? You can go over here to the search bar and search if anyone's asked a question in the past, or if you want to create your own question on here, make sure to click join to join this community and then go over here and create a post. Although Uber and Lyft have definitely taken over, the NYC taxi and limousine industry have their own data sets over here. So you can see the TLC trip record data. You can download this year by data.world. You can see at the very top, there are 80 machine learning data sets available on data.world. You can take a look at it and they have different data topics here on the side. Data1.org, another search engine over here. What data are you looking for? As well as advanced search capabilities. Do you need to have audio data sets? Well, this website's here. I think it's called shaip.com slash offering slash speech data catalog. And you can see specifically what you have down below. So general conversation, media audio, call centers, scripted monologue, and much more, especially in other languages too, whether you're in English, Chinese, Danish, or Dutch, Hebrew. There's a lot of data here that you can take a look. IBM also has quite a few data sets. So their data asset exchange, explore useful and relevant data sets for enterprise data science. These data sets might not be updated or maintained. So the data sets are as is, but you can take a look at some of them that they have here on the page. There's quite a few that you could explore. Paperswithcode.com slash data set has a lot of popular data sets over here. You can see like the MNIST data set as well. Some of the other ones that are very popular with PyTorch image recognition. Uh, but you can just scroll through this or even search here on the side, image, text, video, audio, medical, 3D. OpenML has about 5,400 data sets that you could explore today. Looking for some computer vision data sets, we'll go to visualdata.io slash discover. Go down below over here and search specifically for a data set. Looking for crime data? Well, the FBI has a Federal Bureau of Investigation Crime Data Explorer. That is a pretty long URL here, so it'll be linked down below in the description, but you can explore by specific locations as well as data sets. So if I want to go here and check out what's going on in Florida, I click right over here and you can select a specific agency, specific year as your heart's desire and find out. The World Health Organization also has a plethora of data sets available if you want to look towards the healthcare side of things. So this is just a brief offering right here currently on the screen. All right, so two more places where you could grab data. Number one is going to be by web scraping. Now, every website has their own policies on web scraping. Make sure to read the legality of it. But it does take a little bit to learn web scraping. Now, personally, 
I learned by using chat GPT, as well as kind of have an idea of what elements I want to scrape through the HTML of a website. And I'll be making web scraping series here in 2024. If you're watching this video a little bit later, the way you can grab data is through APIs. Now, some websites will have that available because they don't want you to scrape data. A, a good example of that is going to be eBay. They have a public API. You just have to make sure you log in through a specific account. Also, I saw that NASDAQ has an API. If you want to grab some financial data over there, again, a little bit of a learning curve to understand how APIs work, but once you do, it is kind of a breeze. So that is it for this video. I hope you were able to find a new place to discover some data sets. If you were, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way YouTube promotes this channel and video to other data analysts and data scientists out there. And I'll catch you in another video.